Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's almost time for the movie. Now, where did I leave my purse? Oh, in the bedroom with the shoes. Like a puppy's ear. Or three-ply toilet paper. Wow, that looks really comfy. I need to try it. It. My nightmare. Come on, wake up, rise and shine. We have a movie to catch. Let's go, sleepyhead. No, oh wait, no, come on. Just five or 10 or maybe 30 minutes more, please. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go. Just hang on one second. Nice and safe, where no animal hair can touch you. Let's go! Time for a little test drive. Ugh, gotta say, this is as good as it gets. Vic, didn't you hear Mr. L? He put that blanket up there to keep us off it. He didn't mean me, silly. This is what cats do. We nap on their stuff. Mmm, really is soft. Yay! I just remembered. I'm a cat too. If she can do it, so can I. Wait, Sam. I don't think that's such a good idea. <laughs> hey, that was about to be the best nap of my life and you just ruined it. Now you've got to put this blanket back up there, genius. After my second nap, that is. I only got to touch it with my face for a second, but it was like floating on a cloud. Pet Victoria. For one thing, you're the cleverest. And easily the cutest. Don't tell the others. <laughs> what? What? What happened? I need it. I'm a cat too. Sam, it's my turn. That's strange. It felt so soft on my face. Oh, wait a second. I know why. I gotta take my costume off to feel it. Sam! So soft. Yeah. <laughs> He 
you're even better than a real cat. Sam, you are smarter than all of us and the bravest, too. Don't forget the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> We love you so much, Sam. Because of you, we're the happiest humans in the whole world. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? You took your costume off? What's with you? What if somebody saw you? Wow, that was the best dream ever. And once and for all, Stay away from that blanket! Uh, uh, oh. hmm? <laughs> Here, Washington, let me help you with that blanket. Nope, sorry. Wish I could believe you. Uh. Look, there it is! Can we try it? Stop! I'll just wait right here until the elves get back and they'll see that I was protecting it. again. <laughs> oh, well, that was nice. It can't possibly be that soft. Can it? Ooh, ooh. Oh, yes. That is delicious. You're the best dog, Washington. I can't believe you're my best pal. I'm the luckiest big cat in the world. I admit it, you're way cooler than me. We love you, Wash! <laughs> hey, Washington, or should I say, man's best friend. <laughs> that means you get to eat anything you want. <laughs> you're a good dog, Washington. Good dog. Good dog! Good dog! Hmm? Ah! I had a first and you took it away from me mid-dream! And it was an awesome dream, too! It's mine! I want it! I didn't get to have a real nap! Come on, give it! I knew what you were trying to do! You tried to take it away from me while I was sleeping! How rude! Some friend you are! What's gotten into you guys? You are a <laughs> true bed hog. That's so typical of you to take a cheap shot. That's just because you're jealous of me and my bunny hopping skills. No. Guys! Guys! I'm the one who tried to avoid bringing the blanket down, but you had to go and ruin it for me. And now look at the mess you caused, just like a wild boar. <laughs> what? How rude! <gasps> you hate you! Don't touch that blanket! Come on, sis! Let's show them who we are! This is crazy! You've all gone mad! Hey, move it, big box! Uh. Oh no! The living stones! Okay! That's enough! 
Sit on that one. Is that clear? Wash, you're the best. You saved the day. That blanket had to go. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. confused about who we're calling. The vet. I didn't want to say it in front of the pets. You know how they hate the vet. Remember what happened last time. Oh. 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 Yeah, right. Not a good day. Uh, I have the flu. Leave me alone. You poor thing. Sorry and stuff. If I could just sneeze, I might feel a little better. Ooh, the flu? Hmm. I never get the flu. Never. Never? The second I get a sniffle, I just do an old forest anti-flu ritual, and that's it. Flu gone. Here. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. 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 Wild animals only, not for sensitive house pets like Vic. It could overtake her. You're right. Uh, Who knows what could happen? Uh, Let me think. Uh, Who? Uh, uh, oh, food! Yeah. Ah! Food? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> Oh, 
It's the vet. Not a good day. Susie, it's up to you. Uh, Doc? Yes? It's our cat, Victoria. I think she's got the flu. Normally, I'd bring her in, but she's just so weak. Could you possibly swing by our place and check on her? Well, keep her hydrated and watch her closely for the next couple hours. If she's not any better, then I guess I'll come right over. I should probably give the rest of your animals a once-over, too. <laughs> ew! 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 Germs! Ew! Gross! <laughs> Who's ever heard of a vet being afraid of germs? Well, Doc, you do sound busy. I'll, uh, keep you posted. The vet will be over very soon if Vic's not feeling better. How long do we have? Do you know? Uh, We gotta keep him out of here. Way too risky. You mean he could give us shots? Or clean our ears? Or use the thermometer again? Yeah. Uh? Or find our zippers? <gasps> <gasps> yeah, exactly. Gasp! And if that happens, we're back out in the wild. So we gotta get Vic better. Got it? Yes! yes. <laughs> Great news, Vic. Nurse Washington and his team are here to get you well. <laughs> this patient needs a cold cloth. Water! 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 Hmm. This patient needs ice. Ice! 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 ice. The patient needs warmth. Thank you. Well, gotta say, Vic, you look better already. Right, Sam? <laughs> Good job, guys. High fives all around. <laughs> Does this mean we can have our food now? Oh, no, Vic! You're not supposed to wrap yourself in blankets when you're sick. Ah! <gasps> Honey! Vic has gotten worse! You'd better call the vet and tell him to come over right away! Mm -hmm. No, we can't get our food now. Uh, hello? Uh, hi, Doc. We've been watching Vic, but she's not getting any better. My wife just burned her finger on her fur. Fine. I'm coming now. He's on the way. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Ah! No. I'm here to help make the sick go away. Why don't you go away? I have something really important to say that I think will really help. Okay, here goes. If you don't get better, can I have all your yarn balls? How does that help me? I thought it would motivate you to get better. Uh, 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 if I could just sneeze. Chili peppers, of course! Mm -hmm. I mean, chili peppers to sneeze. I bet that'll clear her up. Risky, but it's our only option. Our ancient forest anti-flu ritual. Washington, we can't. 
what choice do we have? We gotta try something. The vet'll be here any second. Huh? The vet? How come nobody told me the vet was coming? I can't do the thermometer. Huh? Washington, please do your forest magic. It's my only hope. Mm. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. All together. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. 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 Wow. Well, I hope he's coming soon. We have a situation right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey! I can breathe again! Wow! Now I won't get the thermometer thanks to you guys! <laughs> Thank goodness you're here! She's like a limp little rag! There she is, Doctor! <laughs> so, nose dryness, good elasticity, hmm, right, tongue flexibility, perfect. Is this some kind of joke? This feline is fit as a fiddle. Wow, you are sickly. <laughs> So sick, in fact, your fur looks almost like a costume. I better get my thermometer and take his temperature. Oh, the humanity! I'm freaking out! Glad it's not me. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Oh. Uh, uh, yes, yes, your dog is definitely sick. Ew, ew, gross, germs, ew. Just give it one of these every four hours. <laughs> ew, gross, ew. Forget my dog. Great vet coming all the way out here? That's a professional at work. Hi, cha, hi, cha, hi, I mean, cha, just look at hi, Washington. Cha, hi, He's better hi, cha, already. Hi, cha, hi, cha, hi, cha, chu. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go buy a cake to celebrate. That was close. The forest anti flu ritual works every time. <laughs> 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 Most of the time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. So, I put the energy commuters in, I activate the directional multiprocessor, and good as new. Yay, <laughs> it's fixed! Who's a techno wizard? Who? <laughs> on my own armchair. Please let me know when I can come back. One more magic trick, one more. Well, since you insist, now that I fixed it, I can do this. Oh. Or this. Ha! Oh. Or this. Pete Hurry, he's not just a vacuum cleaner, he's a computer. And thanks to his fancy computer parts, he can clean your house without you. So go out and enjoy life. Great home! Now, there is a piece of technology worthy of my talents. And Craig is a great name. It's for me! Is it your new action figure? No, but almost as cool. Oh. I am Craig. I What's am going old. on? <gasps> is that Craig, the computer vacuum cleaner from TV? You know him? Of course! Oh, 
Oh, sweetie, you're the best. Now we can go out and enjoy life. I bet that was quite a splurge. I, uh, yeah, right. Nothing is too good for my wife. Oh. Scanning, scanning, scanning. scanning. Incredible! Diagnosis, healthy. You are likely busy professionals. It is okay. Crank is home. Let's not waste another second in this pigsty. <laughs> Let's go to Mexico! Let's meet my new friend, Craig. I'm Washington. Hello, I am Craig. Oops. Sorry, dude. No hands. Look, I hear you're very smart. Guess what? I am too, so I... Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Oh, okay. We'll talk more later. I am Craig. Huh? I am home. Uh, excuse me? I just so happen to be the cleanest person in this house. Now, I would like to sleep. Dirty! What? A vacuum? <laughs> ah! No! Oh, a vacuum! Uh, and how it's may I help you? I think she's trying to sing. It's a vac vac A vacuum cleaner, <laughs> yes. And also a computer. I ordered him. For a scientific experiment. What? You're the one who brought that monster into the house? Technically speaking, it wasn't me, me. <laughs> Ow, again. <gasps> Yippee! <laughs> whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Wait, look what he can do. Craig, over here, buddy. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Yes, I knew. Well, Craig, you don't really seem all that smart. My expert opinion tells me there's a glitch in his fancy computer parts, and that's a job for a high tech whiz, which is me. Washington, stay away. Send that monster back to its lair. We have a broom. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh. Nice, I think you broke him. <laughs> now we're talking. Nice job, genius. Okay, so he needs a minor adjustment. <laughs> now he should work like a charm. Um, what? Is this normal? Oh, yeah. The lights are just decoration. It's a bad dream. It's a bad dream. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, morning. Dirty, dirty. Okay, Craig, I'm starting to regret this purchase. I know where the receipt is. Faster, Sam, you're gonna get your butt vacuumed up. Come on, get those, you bad appliance. Do I even need to say it? You're a big dummy. Thanks for a great day. No, but seriously, we're safe up here. Safe? Oh, sure. Everything is fine. In fact, I think I'll just... Uh... Hey, look! Craig wants to play tag, too!
find a way out of the house. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Barely, you guys! Vic, you'll lure Craig. No way am I going to be breakfast for that crazy vacuum. You brought him into this house. You make him leave. Okay, look. I have other great plans. Just head out the door. Forget the plan. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Sam, remember the plan. Dirty, <laughs> this way. Come on. Dirty, dirty. Sam, we're good. Come on, quick. Dirty, dirty. <laughs> Dirty, dirty. We're trapped. Real slow now. No sudden movement. I don't want to run away anymore. I'm stronger than that machine. You don't scare me, you stupid can. Oh! oh. Dirty. You guys, give him more stuff to suck up. We gotta fill him up! This is even better than cartoons! <laughs> There's nothing left to throw! Dirty. Yes, there is! That! It was great knowing you, Wash. You too, Vic. No, not you! Your costumes! Impossible! No way am I going back to the forest! Oh, yeah? You'd prefer to be swallowed and ground to a pulp by a killer robot? You got no choice, Wash. Farewell, dream home. Dirty! Dirty! outside and enjoy life again. We'll pretend we never saw this. Let's go back to Mexico. I still don't understand what went wrong. Well, on the bright side, I no longer wish I had my computer. <laughs> Looks like I made a very smart exchange. Cut, cut, cut. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll 
still have to keep our secret. The mailman is here! Okay, any minute now, Mr. L will come out and we'll have our morning chase! Hi. Yeah. Good morning, Birdie! Good morning, little bunny rabbit! Good, you're up. I'm waiting for my morning cat bath. Oh, yeah, that's the spot. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would think you really were a cat. I didn't say mm -hmm. stop. Well, well, well. Look who's ready for our morning paper chase. Hmm, we're not done, Sam. You still gotta do the inside of my ears. Sometimes I think dogs have more fun. <laughs> You're a good boy. <laughs> See, dogs have more fun. <laughs> Washington, I've been thinking. Ah, uh, be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Bad things happen when you do that. <laughs> Somehow it doesn't seem quite fair that when we chose costumes, you got to be the dog. You get to have all the fun. Sam, being a cat is just as great as being a dog. Everyone knows that. Right. Then you won't mind switching with me. You can be the cat for a while and I'll be the dog. <laughs> Sam, being a dog is no longer just a role for me. It's a whole thing. We can't just suddenly switch like like that. Huh? That's weird. Where's Sam? I'm always the first one up. Oh no! Oh no! This is bad! Yeah? Arf! Arf! Huh? Sam! What are you doing? You're gonna get us what all- What incredibly clever dog has my morning paper? Mm -hmm. It's all over! We're done for! Arf! 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 Uh... Wait! Sam is you? Is it opposite day already? No, not for another two months. But yeah, Sam's decided to be me. Oh, how fun! Yeah. Wait, what? No, not fun. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> oh, no. Game over. Any second now, the elves will realize that he's not me. Hmm. So far, it doesn't seem like they've noticed anything different. Nothing at all. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Sam, this is crazy. You don't know what you're doing. Trust me, being a cat is cake compared to being a dog. <laughs> nice game, boy. <laughs> arf, arf, arf. I know what Washington said. He says so many things. True, but he would be super fun to switch costumes. We can't. Yes, let's do it. Wash, now that you're the other cat around here besides me, you're gonna have to act like one. Huh? Yeah, right. I've been sitting here patiently waiting for my morning cat bath, and we're way behind schedule. Ha! Ah, no way! Nuh -uh. Nope, not gonna happen. Never, ever. How strange! <laughs> Weird! Sam, what's wrong, huh? You always clean Vic this time of day. Are you sick? Do you need the vet? I didn't say you could stop. Go turn off the lights! <laughs> ah. 
Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, my Washington. Go on, boy. Go ahead and play with your friends. Go on. Whoa, I'm at the dog park. So this is what it feels like. Hey there, Washington. Hey, guys. How's it going? Everything cool? Smells like him. Must be him. Wash, so, uh, how's that Mrs. L? Getting any home cooking table scraps these days? Yo, oh, yes. She makes the most delicious little pastas and dessert that makes your heart sing. Sometimes she makes the cutest little cookies that make you wanna... Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it's good. It's good. What about you, dogs? Ah, uh, you know, chasing cats all around town. You know, the usual. Ugh, you're definitely not a very good cat, Washington. Do it the same way Sam does it, like a cat. <laughs> Gross, being a cat is a lot harder than it looks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh, don't look now, Wash, but uh, here comes your little friend, Trouble. Washington, this is for you. Let that be a lesson to you. So much drama when you're a dog. How exciting! Nope, we're not done napping. You're gonna have to act like a cat if you want the L's to believe you. That's it! Enough! I can't stand it! I need to run around! Do something instead of napping all the time! Fetch a ball, go on a walk! Cats don't do that. Well, I do! And I can't go another day cleaning you! Yeah, well, I agree. You're pretty terrible at it. <laughs> yeah! I can use my natural energy and remarkable imagination to show Sam what an awesome time I'm having being a cat. He'll see how much fun it is and will want to switch back! Easy! That's your big plan? It's all I got. Here's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna find something. <laughs> That's my wall wall. <laughs> I love playing with my cat toys. It's so much fun, better than any dog game. Wow, I love this cat scratching post. It's the best thing ever. I don't want to be a dog ever again. Being a cat is the best. The best. <laughs> oh no, Sam! The girls are in danger. You gotta save them. <clears throat> You're a dog. That's what dogs do. Go! Save them! <clears throat> I told you, being a dog is a high-pressure role. Us cats have to stay here and act scared. Hurry, they need you. Better. A little stretched out, but it's good to be back in my regular costume. <laughs> what about the girls? Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Rescued? Ooh. Rescued. <laughs> that 
was way too close. I never want to be a dog again. It's too hard having to be you, Washington. Yeah, this fits me much better. Yo, by the way, I met a girl at the dog park. I think she meant to give you this. Oh, <laughs> oh Wash, you're such a dog. Thanks, Vic. Hey, no worries. I had to get Sam back. You were a terrible cat, and I gotta have my daily cat bass in the morning. <laughs> Come on, I wasn't that bad. Pretty bad. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. One. Hmm. Can we play? For the seventh time, no! For the seventh time, why not? <laughs> You're too little. Now, shh! For once, oh. he's right. Shh! Hello! Hello. We're, We're home! home. <laughs> <laughs> Wash? Sam? You know, those two are becoming real slugs. They don't even get up anymore when we come home. What they need is some exercise, but not with me. What do you say we hire a dog walker? A what? A dog walker. A babysitter for dogs. But instead of sitting, you walk. Nowadays, they take cats, too. How modern. The walker could take them out when we're at work. Or when we're watching TV. Did you hear that, boys? You're getting your very own walker. Yay! Awesome! You have no idea what that is, do you? It's cool. I know that much. Maybe it's a kibble <laughs> detector. <laughs> or a fried chicken dispenser. <laughs> Close. It's... A car for extra smart pets like you. Your own car? Look at them. I think they know their new walker is coming. <laughs> Washington and Sam, meet your fantastic professionals. Gracie and Alfie. Gracie and Alfie? Are they your drivers? We're going to take you two on a nice long walk. Very funny, Vic. See you later, Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone. We'll be very professional. Sit. Good. Sit. Remember, Alf, we're not allowed to cross the street. When you come to a corner, what do you do? Turn right. Isn't that the same house? Thing to do. Sam, please stop slobbering. 
can't help it. Too hungry. Sam, follow me. Quick. Find us in this hole. Wondering myself what those little brats did all this time. I'll bet you a bajillion cookies the kids have gone home. So long, guys. See you soon. It's almost six o'clock. Where are my Gracie and Alfie? Oh! Oh! Hey, Wash, do you have these bajillion cookies on you? We'll find the children. They can't have gone far. This is only the fourth largest city in the country. You two, inside. Heard you lost the kids. Way to go. Ooh, ooh. That's some big time trouble wash. Yeah, everyone seems pretty upset. Uh, yeah, kids are like super precious to adults and stuff. Sam, we gotta find those kids before the adults do. But Mrs. L says... And your super snout will do the job. <laughs> The path ends right here. Where could they have gone? There! Oh. On the ground! Mitch! He must have smelled the cookies and grabbed the kids! Oh no! That explains why they didn't come home! Mitch ate them! Not necessarily. Hopefully he still has cookies. But Sam, we gotta unzip. What? We're gonna rescue those kids. We gotta go in deep. And we can't risk our wild friends seeing Doggy and Kitty. Too dangerous. They'll try to eat us for dinner. We look delicious. <laughs> hey there, Wash. I'd offer you some cookies, but I ate them all. No problem, Mitch. We'll go get some. Sam, now would be a very good time to go home and get Mitch some more cookies. But how do I... Sam, <laughs> now! Lots of cookies coming up. Hey, let's all play a game while we wait. Mmm, 
Like what? How about hide and seek? We learned it in the city, but it's super simple. You go and hide in the forest and I'll try and find you. If I don't, then you win. Oh, I'm good at hiding. I'm gonna win. And for the prize, more cookies. Deal. <laughs> You'll never find me. And now, the kids. What's up? One minute they're running after us, the other minute they're running away. Kids. Ah, my costume. Nice move. Wow, they're hard. These cookies are weird. They're diet cookies. They're made with wood flour. You can build a house with that. Sam, you're naked. Duh, I know. Listen. Mitch has the kids. Mitch wants cookies. You get cookies to Mitch, you hear me? Easy! Oh, 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 wolf, oh, oh, no, oh, oh, oh! Washington! Oh. I'd know that weird bark anywhere. Oh, how did you find me so fast? Washington! Oh, Gracie and Alfie? Mmm, -hmm. they're sweet, and I'm uh, hungry. Gracie and Alfie, ugh, don't you want cookies? Hey, where are my cookies? Washington! Oh. Ah. Washington, we're here to save you! Quick, costumes! This time, I'm going to win for sure. <laughs> what the? Oh! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret.
care of that. Now then, where did my dream leave off? Ah! Uh, this is not good. Ah! Yeah! Come on, snap out of it. Ah! Look guys, don't worry about a thing. I'll take all the blame. Don't even try to talk me out of it. I simply insist. No, no. I'm telling you I can handle it. Really. My very first sculpture in just one class. Can you believe it? Uh, no, I really can't. I'll just set it here to dry. It really reflects my inner feelings about the basic human condition. Who knew there was an artist inside of me just waiting to blossom? Uh, oh. I love it, honey. It's really like, like, uh, like art. <laughs> oh. Washington, did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my grandmother's face. <laughs> oh, honey, look at his face. He didn't mean to break it. You know how clumsy dogs are. <laughs> You're right. My grandmother didn't even like that vase very much. And I didn't really like my grandmother. Me neither. Well, I think Washington has learned his lesson. Right, Washington? He's really sad. Oh. Aw, oh, okay, Wong. We should be going. Our dinner reservations are for seven. What time is it now? Uh, 6.59 and 18 seconds. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Thanks for taking the blame, Washington. There's no way I could handle so much shaming. Whoa, you're a master. Let me try. Uh, I can't do it. I can't do that pain face you do. Well, I hope this is a lesson learned. One, I'm an excellent actor, and two, you guys really <laughs> should <laughs> Hey, did you not hear what I just said? I will not cover for you again. You've got nothing to worry about, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! If anything happens to this thing, the Living Stones will blame me for it, and my sad face trick will only work once. Just smash it already so I can get back to my beauty sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Hey, that's enough! Hey, listen to me! Come on, hey! What? That's not enough. I need them to be quiet once and for all. <laughs> what? How? How did that happen? Huh? What? What happened? Something broke? Oh, no. <laughs> ah! 
What's with Washington? They're going to think he did it. Oh, Ray, why? Because they already took the blame for us last time with the vase. They're going to think he did this too. <laughs> to fix this! Ah! We? Yes, we! Come on! All right, all right. I think I remember what it looked like. Let me try this. Well, well, well. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I may say so. Yodely. What is it? Mrs. L's statue. The one she brought in. It looked just like that. The one she loves so much? <clears throat> yeah, that one. The one she's so proud of? The one that makes her so happy? Yes, yes. No? It didn't look like that. At all. You're right. Who am I kidding? This looks like it was put together in a blender. I think I can fix this. Done! That's worse. It looks like nothing at all. Let me try. Longing for the days of his youth. Wait, what are we doing? What about the statue? Oh no, they're back! Ah! Wait! Everybody, calm down! Panic is not the answer! Panic is never the answer! <laughs> well, thanks guys. Looks like I'm in really big trouble. Not a second to lose! Right here! Okay! Uh, some wings? Uh, no head! Uh, a bit like this! <gasps> Look, hon! They love my sculpture! Hmm? It almost looks like they're worshipping it! <laughs> Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. the coolest thing I've ever heard! What? It's horrible! Ear torture is what it is! Yeah! He pretends 
thinks he's a cat and he can't even stand on his own four paws. Hmm. It was too emotional for her. <laughs> you can't get away! <laughs> Looks like fun. Sam, feel like going outside and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Long time no see. How have you been since yesterday? I uh, dug up this treasure just for you, sweetheart. Ah, uh, gee, thanks. Whatever it is, I'm allergic. As you wish. Mm. Oh. 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 You're so cute when you smile. Say what? <sighs> My childhood guitar. Why in the world did I ever stop playing? I think you said you weren't very good. I so admired your honesty. Why, thanks. Well, anyway, I guess I'll just throw this junk out. Junk? He doesn't mean that guitar. He can't throw it out. No! Follow me. I just knew you couldn't live without me. Yeah, I was so upset I was taking a nap. Make uh -huh. room for me, sweetheart. Are you absolutely certain you wouldn't be more comfortable somewhere else? Like in the middle of a highway, for example? <laughs> nah, this is where I feel best, sweetheart. <laughs> I'll snuggled up with you. <laughs> Going to the flea market is a great idea, honey. Who knows? We might even find some great new junk now that we've cleared out our old junk. Okay, follow me. Hey, I've got a super idea for a game. I count to ten, and while I'm yeah. counting, you run off far, far away from me, like, say, to the other side of the city. Easy, right? Let's start. <sighs> One, two, huh? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Chill out, honey bunch. I just oh. wanted to clean your ears. How can I possibly make you understand? Don't sweat it, sweet pea. I'll do the other ear next. Oh. It's really too bad for the two of us, but you see, I've already got a tomcat in my life. <laughs> yes, in fact, it's the guy who was just playing that Beautiful guitar riff. Mm -hmm. Sam, my rock and roll boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sam. You can stop now. I don't know if I could take so much awesomeness in one day. I understand. Ugh. I should give my paws a rest anyway. Who was that cat? Oh, he was a nobody. Just some flea bitten alley cat. So, hang out later? Yeah? <laughs> uh. Too high! We need something to get higher! Check out what I found in the treasure trove! An apple catcher! We can help the girls catch the fruit in the tree! Let's go! Sorry, Rush. I've got other plans. What? You made plans without me? Well, you know, Victoria and me. We get along super well now. She's seen my musical talents and she accepts me as a real cat friend. So, 
You'd rather sit around with silly Vic than jump for apples with cool me? Sorry, but when you're a cat, sometimes you just have to hang out with other cats. Okay then, go hang out with your cat friend, but you're gonna miss out on a ton of fun, a ton I say. What kind of awesome cat activity have they got planned for this afternoon? A nap contest? That is so lame. <laughs> Phew, that was a close call. <laughs> Been looking for you, Dumplin. Uh, one, my name is Victoria. Two, you're not allowed to come in through our cat flap without being invited. Very invited by me! <laughs> Unreal! Where were you brought up? City dump? Why? Yeah, keep it going, Sam. It's insane! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Go on, do it like that! No, you do it like this! Girls, girls, calm down a second. Let a pro show you how it's done. Mm. Must have been a squirrel. <laughs> you and me can pass around eternity! Awesome, Sam! Awesome! You just saved my life! Yo, oh, thank you, Vic. You know, you're basically my coolest friend. I know. I mean, thanks. Okay then, so see you later, okay? <sighs> Vic and I are just getting tighter and tighter. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Oh, yeah, I remember you. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. So... Are you the dude I heard playing the musical chainsaw? Yeah, yeah, that was me, but it's, uh, a guitar. You've been playing for a long time, dude? Yeah, uh, no, not for very long. Dude, you must be kidding. You're awesome. I bet the chicks just love to hear you play. Well, yeah, there is one. Hey! Boy. I really don't have an ear for music. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, maybe you should give me back my guitar now. <laughs> Phew, for a second there, I thought you were going to... <laughs> uh, hey, come back here! Sam, let me tell you, this is way, way more fun than hanging out with Vic. No, no! <laughs> Private property here? No trespassing. <laughs> and don't ever let me see you hanging around here again. Ralph! <laughs> Sometimes being a dog is cool. <laughs> you are so right. This is way more fun than doing cat stuff. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Everything's gotta be perfect tonight. I think the new boss is finally starting to notice me. Just the other day, he almost said my name correctly. That's great, honey. But then, he tried to high-five me. And I missed. Well, it happens to everyone. Not really. But tonight, I have a second chance, and I'm not going to screw it up. Honey, relax. Just enjoy the party. Don't stress. <laughs> now, you boys have to be on your best behavior tonight. My new boss, Mr. Goober, is coming tonight. Yes, he is. We wouldn't want him to think we've got wild animals running loose. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Yuck! Guests make you do cute things. And they try to pet you, and worst of all, they talk baby talk! I'm out of here. I think guests sound like fun! here. Don't you feel silly? <laughs> Come in. Oh, wait. What's the secret password? Oh, <laughs> he's just kidding. Come in. Make yourself at home. How about some punch? Do you have any food? What happened to us back there? We went completely wild. I don't know. All of a sudden, I just felt like shaking. It. Yeah, I couldn't hold back. I was in a wild groove. Hey, Talon, I rocked. and their music. Keep it together. You heard what Mr. L said. Oh, oh, I know. 
Now you boys have to be on your best behavior tonight. My new boss, Mr. Goober, is coming tonight. We wouldn't want him to think we've got wild animals running loose. <laughs> you guys, whatever you do, do not give in to that great music. If we do, it would be bad for Mr. L, but mostly, really, really bad for us. No. Don't give in! Our secret life as domestic pets depends on it! Got it? Yes! yes. Don't, don't give in! Don't give in! Don't give in! Don't give in! Don't, 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 don't give in! Don't, don't, don't give in. No. Sam, Susie, Eugenie, Washington, our guests are here! Here, pets! Come on! Come on! We've got to get back in there like nice, normal pets! We can do this! Come in. You're not Mr. Goober, but welcome. Let me take your coat. Oh, my gosh. This is stressing me out. Me too. If that music comes back, we're toast. Did you know our hearing is ten times better than a human's? You. I think I feel worse now. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, girls. We're going to need music for this. Just as soon as Mr. Goober gets here. Anyone hear from him? No? See? This one here is just a big cuddle ball. All he wants is to be loved. Uh, who wants some more punch? Do you have any food? Keep quiet, dude. I'll come back soon. Uh, Sam! I was comfortable in there! <laughs> come on, you awesome music. You think you can take me down? I don't think so. <laughs> Mr. Goober is really late. The guests are getting hungry. Okay, I guess he's not coming. Maybe he didn't like the little smiley face I put on the email invite. Honey, relax. Why don't you show the guests some of Washington's amazing tricks? <laughs> hey. hey, guys, want to see a cool trick my dog can do? What? Okay, boy, show everyone how you can balance a doggy treat for a whole minute. <laughs> Okay, boy. Steady now. Steady. You blasted music. You made me drop the dog treat. You ruined my best trick. Arf, 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 arf. I can't take it anymore. I've got to stop that music. Arf, 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 arf. Washington! Bad dog! Bad dog! What's gotten into you? Washington! 
What's happening in here? Arf, 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 arf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, you know how dogs are. Uh, they like to chase after cars and... Uh, Mr. Goober? Mr. Liverstone, I've been driving around in circles trying to find your house. Uh, I'm so glad you found me. It's Livingstone. Uh, never mind. It was actually my dog, Washington, who found you. Wow, what a smart dog you have, Mr. Livingstone. Very impressive. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I guess I was too wrapped up in the new Daft Prodigy Brothers album to focus on where I was going. Did you know they use sound samples only wild animals can hear? Ah! I can't help but want to go wild whenever I hear it. Uh, I haven't heard it yet. What? Mm -hmm. No! Come on! Excellent party, Livingstone! Glad you could make it! <laughs> Give me five, Livingstone! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We're off to the farmer's market, kiddos. No wild parties, okay? Animals throwing a party? Too much. <laughs> too, too much. <laughs> yeah! Yes! An entire costume-free afternoon to do whatever we want. Yes, like soak in a tub. And away the fridge. And buy our toenails. Huh? Uh -oh. You guys are going to get so busted. No way! They'll be gone for hours! Huh? Huh? Ah! They're back! Panic! Ah! <laughs> Don't do this to me, Zipper! Not you! Not you! Can't leave without our favorite podcast. Podcast and it... Huh? Hey! Oh, that was odd. I thought cats always landed on their feet. Hey! Oh. Oh. Look, hon, he wants to shake. Roll over. Roll over, boy. <laughs> <laughs> now play dead, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Good puppy. Brilliant. Hooray. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Good thing you play a dog so well, Washington. No biggie. Just raw talent mixed with a total commitment to my craft. But whatever. No. Washington, you're like the king of domestic pets. The king of domestic pets? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Majestic Domestic. Yeah, the Majestic Domestic. Oh, that's good. I like that. Majestic Domestic? He's acting like a house pet. It's not that hard. It is for me. I can't even land on my feet. You'll get it, big guy. Just keep practicing and someday... You'll be as good as you. Well, I was going to say you'll improve, but many things possible. You'll take it. Oh, hail the Majestic Domestic! Remember, total commitment, Sam. Put your paws out and let it rip. Commit, commit, commit. Hmm, you're still holding back. Maybe if the platform was higher. Yeah, that's it. You're a genius. Me? A genius? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> Brother. Something to say, Vic? Me? 
No, I mean, you are pretty high on yourself right now, but I'll hold my tongue till you slip up and take a fall. Well, I hope you're ready to wait a while because there's nothing the Majestic Domestic can't handle. We're home, kiddos! And there's someone we'd like you to meet! <laughs> Say hello to Petunia! <laughs> While we were at the market, we saw her in a tragically small cage! <laughs> Chicken! So, until we find her a better home, Petunia will be our guest. <laughs> uh, chicken! What is Washington doing? Being friendly. This book we got, How to Take Care of Chickens, says dogs and hens are natural allies. Well, if the book says so, I blindly accept it. And just look at his happy little smile. Good dog! <laughs> Washington, you can't get out now. We're meeting our new guest. Woof. All right, all right, yes. Wow, I guess when you've gotta go, you've gotta go. Perfect, a free range farm where our little chick will be happy. Great, see you soon, bye. Good news, hon, the farmers can pick up Petunia on Saturday. <laughs> Hello, Washington. How's it going with Petunia the chicken? I thought foxes couldn't resist a nice, fat, juicy chicken. And we're just natural enemies. Huh? Gee, what if you're right? What if I can't control myself? Oh, no! In case you can't tell, I was being sarcastic. And don't forget, I'm the Majestic Domestic. He's right, Vic. Back in the wild, Wash was always talking about how much she loves chickens. And now look at him. He doesn't even look at Petunia. See? He's really the Majestic Domestic. Bok, Oh, <laughs> hey there, Petunia. Nice to eat. Ah! I get the next hug. Washington, my slippers, bad dog. <laughs> Go, Sam, you can do it. <laughs> commit, Sam, commit, commit. <laughs> Mayonnaise powder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> how to take care of cats and how to take care of chickens. Let's mix it up a bit. Huh? What's that? Apparently chickens love sunbeams. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's cats. It says so right here. Never mind then, blindly accept it. make it unless I make the full commitment. <laughs> guys, guys, what day is this? It's the day Sam finally lands on his feet. That's what day it is. Yeah, total commitment time. Make it higher, guys, higher. No, I mean, is today Saturday? <gasps> it's the farmers! Ha <laughs> ha! I made it! It's all gonna be fine now! Hello? Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone! I told 
you only us farmers are up at 5 a.m. We'll have to come back next week. Let's go. No, don't, you can't. No, no, no. Uh, Washington, something wrong? Wrong? I, 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 I'm in control. Okay, then could you not act like a crazy person for a sec? Sam's about to jump. Thanks. Commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. You know, guys, I'm worried it's still not high enough. Uh, <laughs> no! Get away! Get away! Fight me forever! It's hopeless! <laughs> Bush, I don't understand. What's gotten into you? Foxes eat chicken, Sam! And I can't stop trying to eat Petunia! <laughs> Where is Petunia? Don't worry, she's safe. I took care of her. <laughs> I know! I'm not a domestication master! I'm a domestication monster! <laughs> I knew it! Yes! Yes! You all heard him admit it. You're my witnesses. Actually, I should have this documented. And do we know any notaries? Never mind. It's just a symbolic thing. But you'll sign it, right? You have to sign it. Hey! Come on, Victoria! Yeah, not nice! But guys, she's right. I'm not what I thought I was. Maybe, but you're still our friend. Thanks. <coughs> Look! The farmers haven't left yet! I told you that you can't substitute orange juice for oil. Okay, okay. Let's find a gas station. Okay, it's my duty to help you, Wash. I'll find a way to restrain them until the elves wake up. Wish me luck. Good luck. For Washington. For Washington. I did it! I actually did it! He did it! He did it! Yeah! Did it! Did it! yeah! yeah! How's it going, furry friends? Meow. Sam? Meow. What are you doing out there, buddy? You know this cat? He's really phenomenal. He just landed on my hood from out of nowhere. Oh, yes it is. And by the way, hello. You aren't the free-range farmer, are you? Yes, we are. And by the way, we're here for the chicken you have on your head. <laughs> Guys, I just want to say thanks for sticking with me. You're welcome, I guess. As long as I don't have to hear the name Majestic Domestic ever again. Don't worry, I learned my lesson. Besides, we all know who the real hero is. The Phenomenal Feline. The Phenom... The Phenomenal Feline! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No, should we call a pet sitter? We've never left them alone overnight before. Oh, honey, they'll be okay for one night. We'll be home in the morning. A pet sitter? Last time it was Nuggin and Fluffy's cranky old lady. She watched game shows the whole time and ate all our treats. Ooh. It's time for you to be convincing, my friends. Do we really need a pet sitter? Hmm. Will you be good animals? <laughs> Fine. We'll try it. No pet sitter. We're trusting you. See you in the morning. Hey, we can use the extra money for Pancake Paradise. Mission accomplished. TV night is all ours. Yeah. This is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. you that if you screw things 
up, we'll end up with a pet sitter every single time they go away. Don't worry, we'll behave. Sam, how about a nice scary movie? Great idea! Mr. L always changes the channel. He gets really scared. Scary movie? No thanks. How about a game of tag? Huh? Oh no, not tag. about this restaurant. <laughs> Come out of here, cheeky spirit! Ooh, it's a cute <laughs> Quick, activate the anti-ghost ring! Nothing stops ghost hunters! We should, um, probably go check on Eugenie and Susie, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a force of good that's going to do you bad, you nasty old ghost! <laughs> Your breath! It's horrible! <laughs> hey! Find another hiding place! But where? I don't know. Anywhere that's not around me. How about the bathroom? Go hide in the toilet. Huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, kids, they believe anything. Okay, we got one chance here. This magnet should enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form and I'll finally be able to capture him. Oh, Bex's right. The toilet is the perfect place to hide. <laughs> huh? I'm sure I saw her coming here. gotten into you. It's Susie! It's Susie what? What am I doing here? <laughs> wow, that's fun! It's a pretty good hiding spot after all. Hello? <laughs> what? Oh. <sighs> Where'd they go? Huh? <laughs> Bet they got scared. <laughs> Susie. We'll never see her again. <gasps> what uh, the? Susie is a ghost. <laughs> ghost. <laughs> Wait a second. I know what to do. We too must become ghost hunters. <laughs> <laughs> Fear just change sides, huh? <gasps> Hello? Where are you? It's my huh? fault she became a ghost. She'll haunt me forever. <laughs> it's just a stupid movie. Coming from there, and it's getting closer. What on earth is going on in this madhouse? Susie was hiding in the toilet, and I flushed her down. <gasps> she's a ghost, and she's haunting the house. <laughs> it might, uh, kind of be my fault she's become a ghost. What if she haunts me forever? <laughs> okay, this magnet is going to enable the neutralization of the ectoplasm of the ghost. The ghost will take form, and I'll finally be able to capture him. I already heard that somewhere before. Place. 
nice. can only use my bathroom. No one moves. Oh. <sighs> well, I'm gonna make some tea. <gasps> we must have left it on when we were leaving. Feeling better now. Oh, hi guys. Where's Susie? Honey, can you please come in? There's a problem with the sink. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Looks like something's blocking the pipe. Listen, let's go back to the camp. We'll fix it when we come back. You're right, dear. Let's go. Pipes? The pipes! There are pipes! They're like like underground tunnels. That explains everything. We dropped the magnet down the toilet, right? Yes, why? Because it wasn't the ghost dragging us up to the ceiling. It was the magnet. And that, and that Susie is hiding in the pipes and waiting for someone to find her. You are one clever fox, Wash. And you're smart, too. We're gonna pump her out of there. On the count of three. One, two, and three! <laughs> Keep jumping! It's working! There is no way I'm staying around here to be haunted the rest of my life. <laughs> Okay. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Hey, where's Susie? <laughs> See, all is well. They did just fine on their own. We did it. We proved to them that they can trust us. Hang on. Hello? Has anyone seen Victoria? It's a nightmare. I'm going to wake up and have breakfast. Any minute now. Oh. 